So to the doctor, doctors who took an oath to do no harm and have decided to become part of the evil murder, the euthanasia that's going on in the world, like the Nazis, uh, to those who are, I mean, obviously in certain cases, abortion may be, but 99% of the cases, actually, the main people being aborted are girls because people, I don't know, they're choosing, they don't want them. That's most of the cases, and somebody decides that they just, and in the tremendous evil of letting unborn children, people have lost their minds. It's like the Nazis being brainwashed by some nutcase to murder people. This is what's going on. And this evil of taking a child or taking anyone that's mentally disturbed or brainwashed and to remove their organ, you know, for a person to, if you look at a genetic um, factor as the determining factor of your sex and decide that you can change it based on, um, you know, a, a, an operation or some hormones, then you actually have to change the brain because as one of the big researchers that I communicated directly, the male and female brain are different. So until somebody can come up with an operation that changes the brain because the brain is what makes us who we are, never mind every single cell in the body has an X or Y chromosome. So I say in the name of God and in the name of the Talmud, which is a Jewish wisdom, it says that the toiv shabaroifim, the good doctors, the holy ones are going to go to hell. Why? Because they think that they are God. They think that they have this position. But the bad ones, the ones that do evil with the knowledge, there is no words. And I'm saying this because it's very important that you stop right now. And I, to, my field is Jewish mysticism. I want you to know that every single action that a person does, they are accountable to. If you are doing these actions, you, the, the, there is no words to begin to understand how much your soul will suffer. And suffering is real because everything that is done negatively, you know, if you steal a little bit of money, you have to come back in another lifetime, pay it back. This world, in this lifetime, you get choices. But the consequences of your choices are determined. And if you truly desire what is good for you, stop now get involved, study from Judaism. There's a doctor that I know that she told me she stopped being a doctor in Canada because they're basically like a neo-Nazi regime and making people do euthanasia and evil things. Better to give up your profession than to suffer because everyone that you've heard, and you know as well as I know, doctor who told me did 40,000 abortions, many of them very late term, then he changed and he believed in God that evil that was done, and we know that women that have abortions, they deeply, deeply often fall into depression because the nature of a woman is to have children and to bring life into the world. And this evil, and, and, and your job is to do good. And so I encourage you to literally buy yourself heaven, buy yourself earth, stand up for what the profession is meant to be, which is helping people, not hurting them. And if you listen to me, you'll be blessed.